The project for the garden at Otoko is, um, yeah, it's a sort of attempt to sort of transplant something from one place to another, from one culture to another, I suppose. Um, and what we're doing is um, creating a, a painting of a Japanese um, a tree which is uh, used at the back of a no stage. Um, this very ancient and traditional form of um, masked theatre in Japan. And at the back of the stage, which is usually made of wood, there's always this painting of a twisted pine tree. The pine tree is, is a sort of transcendental ladder, a way to connect with the supernatural world. No theatre is very much um, involved in, in sort of summoning ghosts from the past, often sort of historical characters from folk tales, from legend. And um, the pine tree is a way to sort of um, allow them a way down into the mundane world. The, and um, yeah, I kind of had an idea that it might be nice to sort of give, give the spirit world a, <laughs> an opportunity to uh, yeah, come down in the garden at Bordokko somehow. The work, I suppose, connects it with two yeah, separate aspects of, of um, the context of, of Otroko. One is the garden and the, the, um, the presence there of, of sort of exotic species, trees that were kind of brought from different places in the world and specifically sort of, in this case, Japanese trees. Um, and that was, of course, very fashionable um, um, thing at a certain moment when, when the garden was conceived, um, which of course relates to um, the other aspect of the project, which is, it, which is its connection to painting and the tradition of painting and, and to modernism, impressionism and, and, and post-impressionism, which is the kind of core of the collection at, at Odoko, this sort of um, fascination of that at that time with um, what became known as Japanism, in fact. They even, yeah, Japonisme, the French called it, which was this kind of, yeah, this big influx of, of imagery and, and ideas from Japan um, at the sort of middle and end of the 19th century when um, it became very, very fashionable and, and a lot, there was a lot of interest in it. And, and a lot of the artists that are in the collection sort of surrounded themselves with that that imagery and those ideas and, and it fed into a lot of the work that's in the collection.